than one pound poundland supplies for slime. I recently did a video on Poundland haul on my sister channel, so please go check it out if you haven't already. I cannot go to any shops without checking for slime supplies, so I did that and I found some. I've never normally found contact lens solution or anything with boric acid in it in Poundland. And I don't like using air wick because it's not very really good for inhaling. I was so excited when I found these eye drops, which are super cool. And we have one of these, but we don't know how much is inside. So when we're making the slime, we also have another one if we need it. These are the cheapest things I could find in Poundland. And I'm going to take you through them and show you what I've got. So I've got these two things that I actually got from Poundland. But I got these ages ago. It's just a spatula, handy dandy, and a bowl, transparent. Next thing I have is some shaving foam, Gillette shaving foam. I also have some containers, which is going to be really fun to put some slime in because we are running out of containers and we also have this which I'm in love with it is a fun addition unicorn magic hand soap which is really really fun and I also got some paint I could choose from a paint but I felt like slime I had never normally used yellow and for another reason which I'll tell you in the end because it's a surprise but I love yellow as well so that's why I'm using it and it's really vibrant and pretty I also have some Poundland glue and then I have these eye drops and I'll show you that it says boric acid on the back now you can see it's on the bottom line it says boric acid and borax I was really happy when I found this in Poundland because I've never found contact lens solution I've only found Airwick which I don't want to use I'm going to be doing a fluffy a creamy and a soft and a thick slime and I'm also going to be doing it backwards so I'm going to start with the eye drops and I'm doing this because I want to see how much slime we can make with just using this. Let's get started and see how good a slime can be with just using Poundland supplies and I normally say let's get started and use the glue but let's get started and use the activator. First I'm going to add the activator so I'm going to see how big this container is. It's a mini one, but I think there's a lot that can come out of this though. So I'm going to add all of it and see. I've never used these before. Oh, let's add it. Oh, that's so weird. Just this. So this is what you're supposed to use for your eyes. And we're using it for slime. I think that's all there is. So this is how much I got in and it also made some bubbles. So like if I pull this, ready? It can make bubbles. It's super cool. But that is how much activator I'm going to use, and I'm going to mix the bubbles in. The next thing is some paint. I'm using yellow, and I think I'm going to add a bit because I think that I want it really vibrant, but I'm not going to add too much to make it really watery. That's good. And I'm going to mix this. I wonder if it was going to dye the activator. Oh, it's all weird. That looks weird. <laughs> it's basically made the activator yellow. Here it is. I'm going to mix it in and be back. We've mixed it in and it makes a really pretty yellow. I really love it. I'm trying to get it off the side because it's like sticking. But the next thing is this Unicorn Magic Hand Soap. And I'm not going to add too much because I feel like it will make it really sticky. So I'm just going to add a little bit. Good. So I'm going to mix that in now and see what happens. Oh, it's made like a little blotch. Okay, let's mix this in and see. I think it might just make it softer. Oh, that's not so good. I guess it's a scent. It smells super clean and nice. I don't think there's a scent, but it smells like... I love the smell of soap because it's really nice. And this smells super nice. It's onto the shaving foam, and this is one of my favourite parts. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to add too much because I feel like it will make it too fluffy. So I'm going to add a little bit. We can always add it at the end as well. I'm just going to shake it and add a little bit. That's good. Whoops. That's that. And now we're going to mix it in the activator. This is not going to work. Uh, uh. This is what it looks like. This is so strange. It will make it a light yellow, which is really pretty. It's made it really light now. Pastel yellow, which I love. And that's the activator. But the last step is to add the glue. And I'm going to add a little bit and see if it works. I'm super scared. I'm going to add this glue from Poundland. And I'm going to add a little bit. And I'm going to add it at time because I'm scared that it might because this is all I can make so I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time and hope for the best. Why isn't that activated? Wait doesn't contact lens solution always need bicarbonate of soda? Let's go get some bicarbonate of soda and hopefully it works. So we have some bicarbonate of soda and I'm gonna take a pinch. Let's mix it. Okay 
Okay, so I have a spare one, so I'm going to use it and see if it starts activating. Hopefully it does. I don't want this to be a fail. It has started to activate a little bit, but I put a bit too much of something in, so it's not really worked. But let's add a bit of this in. Okay, let's mix it and see if it works. Ooh, I think it's starting to activate. Yay, finally. <laughs> I think this might just turn out into slime. So I've just added a whole lot of the other one in and it started to activate. If you were to pound London and try and get this, I would recommend getting about two to three bottles of it because then it starts activating. If you get one, then just make a little slime. So I'm gonna keep on stirring and then when it's all off the sides, I'm gonna start kneading with my hands because it seems like it's coming off. Yay! This is really, really nice slime. I've used two and I've put a bit more bicarbonate of soda in and I think I'm gonna take it out of the bowl. So let's get it all off the sides. This is super crunchy and super stretchy. I'm really pleased with how this slime has turned out. It's super pokey and it's really stretchy. Hi guys, and crunchy. If you're gonna make a normal slime slime, then I would recommend getting more than one bottles of eye drops. So on the title it says how to make cheap fluffy butter slime. So I'm going to try and make some butter slime using tissues without any clay. So we have one tissue to start with, we'll see how many we need. And then we have a bowl of water. So what we have to do is we have to dip this in the um, water and then put it in and mix it in. I don't know if this is gonna work either, but since we're doing a cheap slime, we thought we'd try it. So we're gonna start by dipping it in. And then we'll take it out. Then we're gonna rip it into little bits and start putting it into the slime. So I'm going to put them all on one layer. I'm gonna do some little bits, so tiny. This is cool. I've seen it and it leaves some um, residue of like the bumps on YouTube of the tissue. So I'm going to mix this first. And I've also seen people add hand soap because it kind of gets a bit rippy. So I'm going to add two pumps. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. It rips. Okay, let's mix it. This is so strange. I've never done this. I'm trying to mix the tissue because it's getting a bit bumpy. This is how many bumps I have to mix in. Hi guys! That's how many there is, so let's just mix that in. Ooh, it's making it a bit stretchier. It's a bit sticky now. Okay. The, the clumps are going out. So I think I'm going to add another tissue now. So I've got my tissue. I'm going to lay it out on it. I'm going to poke it. Oh, I thought it would break. I hope this dries it up, makes it more stiffer. Oh, it has, it so has. So if your slime goes all gloopy, just add a dry tissue and it'll be nicer. Uh, it's still a bit gloopy, but it's not sticky because it literally comes off your hands. So this is the fourth tissue and I think it's better to add it dry and maybe warm with the water or else it's going to be really rippy. So I'm going to add it on the top and try and like fold it over and make it satisfying. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is cool. Let's mix it. I'm going to mix this up now, guys. Roll the time lapse. So look at this slime, guys. It's amazing. I've used two water tissues and then four dry tissues and it's turned out super creamy. I could play with it all day, pokey, and it is so nice. It's literally like butter slime, and then it's the texture of it is super soft like cloud slime. Not that I've ever made cloud slime like it should be. It feels like it looks on camera when I see people, but literally this is the thing I need to show you. It literally spreads. It literally spreads. It's so amazing. I think this is a thumbs up. You should definitely make tissue slime. So I've got a knife and I'm gonna try and spread it. Let's try it this way as well. Whoa! That is so spreadable. Oh, do you hear that sound? Oh my gosh, they're tissues. 
That is score. Guys, I am so happy how this slime has turned out. I have made a creamy butter slime made out of tissues, which is so nice. And I'm so happy how it turned out. It's so fluffy, so stretchy, and actually extremely spreadable. I really love this slime. So I've used two activators and I've still got most of the other supplies left. I've got about two thirds of the glue left and I've got loads of shaving foam and loads of paint and loads of this hand soap which we can use to wash our hands which I'm so happy about. So we've made the slime, it's super nice and I love it so much but we have one problem, we don't know where to put it in. Um, wait a sec! We can use our Powland container. It fits perfectly in there and you can even put another slime in and mix them, it'd be really cool. So I'm gonna put the lid on and that slime is done. So that's the end of my video guys. I'm really happy how the slime turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have one shout out for this week. The shout out for this week goes to Challenge Kids TV. You have commented on all of my videos. You're really supportive and I love you so much. I can't end this video without thanking my early squad on notification squad you guys are amazing so this slime is so awesome love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed the video bye